You're listening to another new Carolina Radio exclusive. What up? It's your boy. The host with the most doing it big from coast to coast. The boss with hella sauce. T-Dot and this is my co-host. It's Brittany. And this is Two Dirty Minds Podcast, episode 48. And today we answering. We're going to talk about. We're going to discuss. Yeah. The top 10 the sex top questions 10 that people most Google. Googled sex questions. Yeah. Same shit. I said it right too. Not really. Anyways. Not really. But before we get this uh, show started, take a moment of silence. For Nipsey Hussle, who was recently shot and killed in L.A. in front of his store today. All right. So, what's the first question? First question was, (laughs) where is the G-spot? Niggas. I don't know. It says people are Googling this. I don't know People don't know what a G-spot is? Googling it. It's one to two inches inside the vagina. Front wall. You go up a little bit. It feel like it's the front. It's the front wall of the vagina. Yeah, it's almost like the rubbing the roof of your mouth. <laughs> the roof. The roof of your mouth. That's what it feel like. Wow. That's what they say. Ew. From what I done, what I didn't seen and gathered of my informational days, that's what it said. I mean, it is. Do you know how to? Do you? Never mind. You know how you get to it. You go in there and get. <laughs> yeah, you rub gotta on it like you a don't really lamp. rub on it. Like a genie lap, you put a little pressure on it. Anyway, for like, well, some niggas can't even really. They don't. They obviously don't know what it is because they fucking googling it. They don't know how to hit it. You sure that it ain't like young guys googling? Or... I don't know. It just says googling, googled, whatever. It don't say who googled <laughs> it. <laughs> googling. <laughs> it don't say who googled it. But I mean, that was just. You know. You know how they go, man. Um, Some people don't, you know, they be like, huh, I wonder, I hear a lot about it. I wonder where it's at. I mean, the best, like, well, so I've been told. Uh, if you whatever. don't know what you're doing, just, like, take the pillow and, like, put it under, like, the girl's butt. What the fuck that's going to do? Because it, it'll help them, you know, reach it because of the way she's positioned. I you mean, don't, nigga, you don't read much, do you? I mean, I don't have a problem with <laughs> I mean, it, well, some people might have a problem. I mean, that's them. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Jesse? Whatever. I'm out chill with it. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <sighs> and it says 40% of women have never climaxed during sex only because their guy can't find their G-spot. I honestly don't believe it. You don't? Why? I don't, why? I don't, I don't believe that. Like, some women be like, oh, all women can climax from just penetration. Mm. I don't believe all women can climax from penetration. Some women, like, it's oral stimulation. I mean, no, not really. Some women, you got to rub the G's behind some girl. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? It just depends. It's different. And I had a debate with somebody about this, but it didn't ever get resolved. It was just, you got your opinion, I got mine. Fuck you, too. Oh, wow. (laughs) Anyway, next question. Pretty much goes hand in hand. How do you make a woman orgasm? Come on, seriously. The, 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 Ask her. Refer, like, what the re, fuck? Refer to question number one. <laughs> right. <laughs> See, after the number one. You got to refer like, back to question number one. I mean, the the best way, honestly, is to communicate. Like, she going to tell you what she like and what gets her what she need to be. So True. But some women don't explore their own body to know exactly. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> This motherfucker, this nasty motherfucker. Uh, man, sir, don't do that. Don't but don't do me. Women, some women don't. They don't explore their own body enough to know exactly what they like. Or well, y'all better. What you mean? I mean they. What is you talking about? You said y'all better. They better figure it out. Oh, Communicate. Yeah, you got you got to be able to talk to somebody about what's going on with you. Oh my God, this next question is fucking hilarious. Why would somebody Google this? Next question was Can you get rid of herpes? Whoa. <laughs> somebody got that Man, young one. There's a bunch of people out here with the herpes then if they they fucking saying they Google it. <laughs> that shit crazy. It's, but look, the answer came up and said. There's no cure for herpes. No, you cannot get rid of it. 
End of discussion. <laughs> Damn. That's the answer that come up when you go. Yeah, through. it's that end of discussion. <laughs> the discussion. But then it's like, it got like some dots and then it's like, however, you can use medication to control the symptoms and reduce the outbreaks. Did you know that everybody got a form of herpes inside of them? Yes. Yes. It's just not the... the Simplex 10. <laughs> yeah, the goddamn Ultra. <laughs> I said, oh, what movie was that? He was like, can you go get Victor? Tell Victor I got herpes simplex 10. <laughs> what fucking movie was 10? that? 10? Yes. Oh, my God. Eddie Murphy. Pl- what fucking movie was that? Oh, my God. I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to figure that shit out. I'm going to have to ask my brother. Because he was like, I got herpes simplex 10. <laughs> I'm telling you, my nigga. Oh, God. The next question is even worse. <laughs> keep, you, keep it wrapped up. Next question is, how to... Get rid of general warts. Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? What are people doing? They out here just fucking anything. <laughs> got, you know what? They out here hitting anything that walk past them. They're like, hey, you got two legs in the split? You know what? I'm trying to hit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I went to the, um, I went to Raleigh this weekend for the Millennium Tour. The boy from Pretty Ricky with the with the four dreads on his head, what's his name? Slick him. Him. Yeah, slick him. Slick him. <laughs> He, he is disgusting. He's walking off stage and gonna say he hitting everything raw tonight. Sir! Whoa. He was like, no condom. I'm like, no, sir, you can't whoa. do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't do that. Keep it in your drawers, young player. Well, I mean, it was coming out because his pants were too little. I'm saying keep it in your drawers after the show. <laughs> if you're out there showing, it's okay, but because uh, no. you're putting on the show, but after the show, you better wrap it up and it, look, before you be taking a dirt nap. Oh my God, the counter says, do not we repeat, do not try to treat yourself at home for genital warts. <laughs> what the fuck? So you better go to the doctor. <laughs> just out here like, I'm going to burn them off. Fuck it. Oh, my God. I'm going to burn them off. I'm going to pop them. Stupid. Cut them out myself. They're going to get the little wart shit. The little damn thing to oh, freeze it cash. out. <laughs> the little freezer. They're going to try to freeze it out. The biofreeze. Wow. Hell no. Oh, my God. Next no. question. Oh, my God. This shit is funny. What is the clap? <laughs> What is the clap? Who is Googling this shit, first of all? They Bruh. said, what is the, <laughs> they want to know if they got it. <laughs> if you Google it, what is clap? It said it's the probably because cl- you, you burn it when you piss. Yeah. You got I'm that done. goddamn itchy dick. That's what's wrong with you, player. <laughs> Go ahead. These questions are horrible, bro. Like, <laughs> they, what the fuck? Because they, people just Googling dumb S- shit. STDs, basically. Most it was two questions about actual sex. The rest of them just been, hey, I got. But we got more questions though. Wait. But I'm pretty sure the rest of them probably gonna be about why my why it's burning when I pee. No. Why well, I got lit matches <laughs> coming out my ass. No. The next one says, "How do I get a bigger penis manually?" <laughs> you can't, you can't. <laughs> well, it was an automatic. You want a manual? I want to screw on. That boy would take years off and screw a bigger one on there, don't he? Oh, my gosh. That boy with a the, the uh, screw on pipe. Look. They extended it. Nah, hell no. Look at the answer. It says, step one, do nothing because you can't make your penis bigger unless you get it surgically enhanced. That's the only way you're getting it. Wow. Unless you get that penis pump. So he says, so skip all the crazy weird at-home remedies. You know at they home have, remedies. You know they work. having them little ads on them porn sites. Get, get five I wonder more if inches. that shit really works. Five more inches. <laughs> Buy this cream. Rub it on there. You get five more. Like, man, you wow. gonna fucking shrivel your goddamn penis up putting that shit well, on there. Well, now it's, it's more it's more like pills now. They be trying to give out all kinds uh, of pills and Damn shit. pills had you out here fucked all up. Wow. You gotta read on them side effects, man. <laughs> yes. I'm telling you. Why does why does people make size a big issue? You know why? No, I don't. Because girls want them goddamn <laughs> horse legs, man. No, they don't. Well, I well they might do. My ass don't. Them girls want them whole horses. A who? Them whole, a whole horses. Horse. A whole horse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That seven on hard ain't getting them. That seven on hard used to kill them. The boy said, "I'm giving you seven on hard." That's I am killing you. That seven on hard used to kill them. Now they want fourteen and some nah. shit. Nah. And they be the girls that them them the bitches that listen to city girls. That's that whale pussy. <laughs> oh, that's, that's that goddamn wide whale pussy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that's that subway ton of pussy. 
to everybody. Just everybody, like two, three people at the same time. Just <laughs> <laughs> two, three holes at the same right. time. I cannot with you. Oh shit! That I don't understand that. Like, why would you? Why would you want a fourteen right. incher? I mean, that that might be what she need in her life. Yeah, like I just said, it's that whale. She got that goddamn wide mouth bass down there. Just give me the seven on hard. Nah. <laughs> Cause I want to walk the next day. Shit, ain't gonna be no damn. You gonna be bleeding fourteen? Your ass may be bleeding. If it's gonna be bleeding like goddamn, damn, <laughs> damn bye. But forty days and forty fucking nights. <laughs> He go manually give you a history to me. So what the <laughs> fuck he going to do? Well, like, I put that 14 inch on tonight. Oh, the way my God. Out. I don't, I just don't get it. Like, because I don't that's get what, it. Because that's what women, you know, they, like you said, they listen to this crazy ass music and believe if a nigga ain't got the goddamn, the goddamn thing hanging down by his knees, big dick player, that he ain't worth it. No, nothing. thank you. I'm gonna pass. I mean, it's got. I mean, after a certain amount of inches, that shit got to stop working. Like, I mean, I ain't out here trotting like no motherfucking <laughs> Clydesdale, but I ain't no motherfucking dashing hind either. <laughs> you hear me? I ain't out here, I ain't got the goddamn Clydesdale, but I ain't no goddamn little weenie dog either. Now. Oh my god, you're stupid. <laughs> you're dumb. You're so dumb. That's how you got to oh know. Gosh. Like, you, I ain't finna goddamn. Put a just, whole arm in you, like it ain't I ain't swinging oh, an wow. arm down there. Mm, 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 mm. But you gonna get to you gonna feel something. Oh, they have a procedure that they can do to make your balls bigger. Why the fuck would you want your nuts bigger? <laughs> I don't know. Like they're supposed to do something. I don't know. This is a dumb question. How do I measure my penis? Like what the fuck? You take a ruler and do it. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm done. You take a ruler or whatever you can find is measurable. They say, are you supposed to measure it when it's hard or when it's soft? Uh, you can do both. You can measure when it's flaccid, which is soft. Duh. Or you can measure when it's erect, when it's hard. I seven on hard. I'm just saying <laughs> seven that, on hard is the, what? That's the best way to measure it. Like do both. Then you then you could see how much you grow. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all niggas really do that shit? I mean, I never measured on you've soft. Never, you've not ne- on soft. Not on soft. Oh, you've measured, but you've measured, I measured on hard. <laughs> I, got to, I got to tell you what it is on hard. Because <laughs> sometimes, you know, some people are gross. I don't see the purpose of even measuring it Cause some while girls, it's soft. Cause females, I mean, I don't know who the fuck want to know how long your dick is on soft anyway. But seven, how long? seven on hard is all we care about. <laughs> the on hard picture. That's what I'm saying. That's all girls. We worry about the on hard list. Like, what the fuck you gonna do soft? Nothing. <laughs> Got damn glow wearing about that bitch. Hell yeah, no, that's one of them look down, you know them look down worms that's about to start coming out during the spring. Oh, man. <laughs> Some of the money fall out of trees yeah, and shit. Yeah, Hell, yeah. Yeah. oh, man. That's what that is. That's that micro pipe. Oh, God. <laughs> that is disgusting. Hell. I mean, it is, it is. Oh. This, a dump. this must be some shit some kids Googling. What? <coughs> Excuse me. How how old do you have to be to buy condoms? Nigga, ain't no fucking age restriction on condoms. Nah, it ain't. I don't think it is. As far as I know, it ain't. They said there's no age restriction on condoms, dummy. So so a 10-year-old can go buy some if he wanted them. What the fuck? If I catch my nephew buying condoms, I'll beat his ass. I mean, I wouldn't beat my nephew's ass. I asked him, why are you getting these? He's 10. Why the fuck would he need condoms? Oh. Exactly. Mine about to be a teenager, so I can understand why he. Oh my god, I could not even. Mm-mm. So I'd be like, "Bro, what you? You could just ask me. I would have took you to get them. You ain't gotta be trying to hide this shit." These some dumbass questions. How mm. long does sex supposed to last? Oh, now that's a good one. That's a varying. Uh, that varies from person to person, depending on who you with and how long they like it and exactly. how long you can last. Cause some girls be like, "Oh, I need it for four hours." Like, what? Four fuck? hours, hey, bitch! I hope I'm, I hope I'm on a payroll. You must want a nigga to rub his dick up against some bricks or some shit, cause that's what it's gonna feel like for four hours. If we talking about four hours, I better be getting breaks in between. It's like I'm on a job. You're stupid. For real. You want some juice? Shit, I'm gonna need more than some goddamn <laughs> juice. Some juice. You can bring me a Red Bull, some juice, goddamn sandwich, some chips. Wow. You know what I mean? Well. How mm, long you think it's supposed to last? 
how long do I think sex is supposed to last? Like I say, it just depends. Um, first of all, I'm fat and I have chronic asthma, so I'm not trying to be, you know, going for a long, long, long time. Um, yeah. I'm going to just say, like, the overall from start to finish, including, like, the foreplay and the just lay there afterwards, <laughs> that's probably going to take you, like, maybe an hour and some change. What? I'm t- I'm saying from, like, oh, beginning cool. to oh, end. Yeah, 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 yeah. You damn right. I ain't right. talking about the actual intercourse, yeah, bitch, I'll say, yeah, it's trying t- to turn my yeah. damn vagina into a tunnel. Yeah, between foreplay and Yeah, that's what I just sex. said, from the foreplay to the just end where you just but, lay there. On, but you got to think about it, because you might start sh- sucking the nigga off, and he got <laughs> oh, damn, yeah. he might explode from just getting sucked off, so now you got to wait. So you got to tack on another 15, 20 minutes for him to get back hard. He was like, I had the seven on hard. You got the soft. Now you got to get it back hard. And that need to be included in that fucking hour and some change. Nah, bro. It's going to be more like two hours. Excuse me? Oh, that nigga might go to sleep. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> nigga might be like, wait no, 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 like beyond stupid. How long does your sex last? It just depends. Go ahead. It do depend. I mean, yeah, it, it all depends. Like, cause I mean, you on a good day, you know. <laughs> yeah, on a good day, I might last. I might get a nice fifteen. <laughs> That's on a good day. I'm done with you. Nah, it, like you said, it all depends. Like, if I really fuck with you like that. You might get stroked for a long time. Uh-huh. But if I'm just trying to get in and get out, I force myself. I'd be like thinking about the nasty shit I can think of to get up out of there. <laughs> I'd be like, nigga, hurry up and bust so we can go. Really? That's what I'd be thinking in my head. Like, you know what this is. Get it in. Get on through. Say, say, say no love shit. <laughs> I mean, hmm. I don't know. I wouldn't want no. But people be, sex. Sex will get boring if it just lingered and lingered and lingered. But people and just what you call it. People be like, like you know, a foreplay and all that shit. They consider that making love. That's not making love. That is making love. That's uh, you trying to goddamn trying to got please them. It's goddamn Cardi B and goddamn Bruno Mars. Please oh, me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, not, not the Cardi B. Let me let let's, you, you not, let let me. <laughs> not, not Cardi Cosby. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean. Oh my God! Well, since you brought it up, not Cardi Cosby. Since man. you brought it up, we about to talk about it. Wait, I got a lot of questions. Yeah, it was like ten. Oh hell, yeah, I thought they had a lot of questions to ask. Hell no, it's the same questions over and over. Mm. People out here don't know how to fuck and make bitches come, and they want to know how to get rid of STDs. STDs. <laughs> that's all you niggas is googling out here. <laughs> like that's all I want to know. Right? How can I? How can I get rid of this clap, baby? Right. That. Niggas is retarded. I'm surprised the, the House of Virginia ain't make it to the top ten. And you know what? I, I'm surprised. Or or what? or questions about like pregnancy and shit like yeah. that. I know it in the bitch. How long is it gonna take her to get? <laughs> how long does this? How long does it take for this Plan B pill to work? I was looking for shit like that. This was some fuck shit. This must be you. you gotta be prepared for it, man. You gotta be prepared for. Like, you ain't take sex ed. Most of these niggas dropped out, so. <laughs> they dropped out before sex ed, so they don't know nothing. You seen the goddamn memes that niggas out here saying no cap, but they ain't had no gown either. <laughs> no oh cap or the gown. Right, nothing. <laughs> they just want to just drip or drown. Ugh. If they dripping something, they right. <laughs> they dripping, I mean, they got a cap. <laughs> <laughs> they trying to get rid of it. Don't try no at-home remedies. The at-home remedies get you fucked up. That this shit, this shit is fucking whack. Like people keep googling the same shit over. Like, if you gotta Google what the clap is, put put a condom on, <laughs> so you ain't have to worry about what this shit is. So here's what I want to know. What? How do you feel about the Cardi B thing? How do I? Okay, I'm kind of uh, stuck on the fence about the shit. Simply because you know, I mean, wrong is wrong, right is right. What she did was wrong. But, 
<laughs> like <laughs> people keep comparing it to the whole R. Kelly situation, the Bill Cosby situation. I'm like, I don't fuck it. Like, I didn't really, I can't say, well, I can't say I didn't see anything wrong with it. She was just robbing these niggas. Like, they was out here keep holding niggas hostage but, and but shit. This is what I'm, but this is what I'm saying. If, say if the roles were reversed and a dude came on Twitter or on Instagram, a famous rapper, anybody who, anybody who popular. Anybody who's and somebody. And they said, oh, yeah, I drug girls and I stole their money. <laughs> Do you honestly believe that they would get the same reaction as she got? Like, it wouldn't have been like, it'd be, oh, she was just doing what she had to do. What if a dude said that? Like, a, he didn't say he raped the girls. and He's like, I just drugged them. It took their money. I mean, I would feel the same way. The nigga was doing what the fuck he had to do. But I'm saying, do you think the world would have... Hell no. Society wouldn't react. They were like, oh, lock him up. But like, he, he, this is the thing I'm like... I'm going to tell you what they would have said. Oh, he done more than just take their money. That's what they would have said. I mean, hey... But I mean, was there apparently was a guy who came forth about the shit? But did he say he lied? <laughs> I don't know. See, that's not, I keep hearing like so much different stuff. So I they don't say know. the dude that came out said he lied. He was just joking, Bruh. See, that's what's wrong with the fucking word. Shit, don't be fucking joking. This is not a fucking joking matter. I mean, but that's what people make it out of now. That everything in the world is a joke now to people. Love's a joke. Till somebody get knocked the fuck off. Then everybody want to be crying. I'm right. like, bro, y'all should, you need to be, like I tell people, find somebody that give a fuck about you and sit the fuck down somewhere. Mm. I'm talking about, I ain't talking about just find just somebody like, oh, I can't. No, just you. don't settle for no anything now. Nah, I ain't talking about that. I mean, just find you don't somebody. Say we, don't say we told you that shit. Nah, we telling you find somebody that genuinely gives a fuck about you. I mean, your mental well-being, your physical well-being, your emotional well-being, your spiritual well-being, all that shit. Make sure they actually give a fuck about you. Not if, just if all the motherf- if all the motherfucker got them call you to ask you for as a favor or some shit, leave them the fuck out. Cut them the fuck That's out. That's why I got life. like six people phone numbers in my phone now. Cut them the fuck out of your life, my nigga. I swear I don't say nobody never. If a motherfucker <laughs> can't call you and say I prayed for you or are you hungry? Do, did you eat today or some shit? Get them the fuck out your life. Hey man, you hungry? <laughs> man, fuck you, <laughs> nigga. What the fuck? You ain't never got them asked me if I was hungry, mother. Nigga, I just offered your fucking Girl Scout cookie. You wouldn't even take it. What the fuck I'm gonna do with that Girl Scout? Cookie? Nigga, the Girl Scout cookies is the shit. What the fuck is my fat ass gonna do with one Girl Scout cookie? Nigga, it's a whole sleeve in there. Nigga, I don't we can split it in half for some sleeve, shit. Motherfucker. <laughs> nigga, I didn't say you could have a whole one. I said I we can split it. I don't it. even them kind no way. You <laughs> That's how you the had fuck? to say this. Stop insulting my damn cookies and shit. But I mean, overall, like this gonna be like a. Two piece episode because yeah, the just, questions you know. is fucking done. Yeah, them cu- so, them questions was lame as fuck. Y'all yeah, niggas need to start googling some more shit. Google some shit that actually matter. Like, if I stick my dick in there, what's gonna happen? <laughs> she gonna fuck, fuck. <laughs> he gonna fuck what you heard. <laughs> that what that, that's what you gonna say on the Google ass. Fuck what you heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so done with you, bro. I'm I'm just I'm I'm done. I'm telling you, bro. What are you looking at? Man, I'm still looking at this Nipsey Hussle shit, man. Bruh. This shit got to be fucked up on some real shit, though. Yeah, I thought this nigga was over here crying. I wasn't I really crying. Did. I heard him sniffle. that shit I, I mean, it, it is sad. It's sad because it's like, you can't, he's you can't a young even... black man. He's a father. You know, he. this is somebody's significant other. Then I'm on top about, of that, like, I'm he... I'm talking about this nigga is a real... Like, he a positive black man. It ain't right. like some fuck nigga in the street doing some bullshit, like... I mean, everybody got a pass, but he turned his whole fucking life around. Right. And and niggas just want to, they don't want to see you win. They and don't, I, I don't want to see you be a positive black man in America. I got I don't a feeling they're going to try to blame this whole thing on gang related. Gang related. And, I, and, and we all know it's not gang related. Of course, Snoop Dogg been a crip for my whole goddamn life. And ain't nobody done nothing to him. So I know damn well it wasn't nothing. Yeah, it, it wasn't gang related. Hell no. We we every, like I said, everybody knows the things that he had in the making. I it wasn't it wasn't gang related. Just know if I get successful, and they knock me off. You know damn well, cause I don't bother nobody. So you already know what it is. The only thing you gonna get knocked off for is fucking with somebody's titties. <laughs> I won't even get knocked off for that, cause I probably paid for them. Oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> damn! My titties, like Big Pun, say you go get your own. You hear me? <laughs> 
I'm done with you, bro. No, he said it in wow. the song. He said, I paid for them titties. The mind, go and get your own, your own, you heard me? <laughs> but this shit just sad. This shit got me sad, bro. Yeah. I swear I really did think he was crying because we were discussing it. That all of a sudden he got quiet and I heard a sniffle. I was like, nigga, you crying? It's that pollen, nigga. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't that pollen. It's that pollen. No, put it on the pollen. I mean, it is a lot pollen. of pollen out there. But, I uh, I mean, if you sad, you sad, nigga. I mean, I'm sad, but I ain't crying. That's sad, what's wrong with black men now. They don't what like to mean? show emotions. No, ho, oh, that's a whole. That was the episode, <laughs> that, I wanted to talk about that on the episode, but oh. we're going to say that for another okay, episode. Well, okay, but, well, we going to bring it to you next week then. But shit, this shit, bro, it's a rough ass fucking week. I've been seeing so many RIP posts, not even just that one. Like, it's just people that I see on in Facebook. General. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a lot. Dude, you I know. know the, dude named Jay Harris, I know his uncle passed. And his mom was in the hospital. Shit was sad as fuck. But I pray for his mom to get better. Yeah, he's not. There's a little black, uh, a young black boy that got killed at USC, upstate, and there. Um, that white girl got killed at yeah USC <clears throat> Columbia. Yeah, this shit just fuck. That's why I'm just gonna get the fuck off social media for a while because this shit. This, but this that shit, shit, shit with her kind of that shit was that shit with her kind of like puzzled me. I had like so many questions about that situation because I don't give a damn about the situation. Somebody died, my nigga. Right. That shit just... Somebody died that didn't have to die. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, the world fucked up. It's some sick-ass individuals out here, yo. Like, for real, for real. It's the fucking... It's the internet. That shit fucking with people. Brain, TV, and shit like that. People got to start going outside again. Get some fresh air. That's, uh, my nigga. Walk around the block. You better do something. Shit. Chase the ice cream truck or some shit. <laughs> Chase him. Hell yeah. They ain't gonna stop anyway. Well, hey, it just depends. Trying to get that money. It depends. What hood he going through? He might not stop. Like, y'all gotta come down the street and meet me. <laughs> if he going through the hood, he obviously <laughs> been over there plenty of times to know. Hell yeah. He probably buying some of his own. <laughs> he's selling ice cream, but he buying something. You stupid. Like, you got it. Bro, we about it. to get us a two dirty minds ice cream truck for the summer. The fuck? Nigga, hell yeah, we're gonna Shame play out. Dick pops. We- <laughs> Hell yeah. Got dick pops out here. I said some pussy pops. He's seven of horns. Ah, we gonna have them seven of horns. <laughs> seven of horns. Bruh, we can play our shit through the then loudspeaker. They, then they be multicolored. Hell yeah. Like the dildos, they be like red, yellow, green like that. Nigga. Ah. In there. we. That's funny as <laughs> we fuck. We gonna sell some dick cakes, all that shit. Dick cake? Oh, man. We gonna have fuck? cakes. Titty cakes. We already gonna have the hot weenies on that thing. <laughs> We gonna have them claps on there. We gonna call them claps. <laughs> right, let me get two claps. <laughs> oh shit! No, two of them claps, man. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Hell no! What? I'm saying if you gonna set them, you gotta set them pickled eggs. Hell yeah! You know what I'm saying? You got them, got them dirty ass ovaries, man. Nah. <laughs> dirty ovaries. Ew! Ew! <laughs> Don't say that because I like pickled eggs. You got them dirty ovaries. Wow, you're stupid, bro. You are stupid. That's why you can't get pregnant. You got them dirty ovaries. <laughs> Y'all, this bro, bro, you tripping. You need to clean your whole inside. You need to clean oh your spirit. Oh, my God. You need to go and clean your fucking spirit. Oh, my God. You're so stupid. That's what I tell people, man. You got to clean your spirit. Yeah. yeah. Smoke you some sage or something. Smoke some sage. <laughs> Bro, hey, bro, blow that sage, nigga. About fuck to... walking around with that shit. You gotta Ooh. smoke that shit and just blow, put it in your body and blow it out. That's how you clean your spirit. Mm. Give me a big blood of that sage, my nigga. I mean, hey, whatever. Put some of them little rocks in your pocket. Cause mm-hmm. I mean, hey, you, I need all the, I need all the fuck shit to stay away from me. This nigga said, "Put the rocks in your pocket." That you know, people have. I'm I gonna... know some of them crystals. Yes. Let me, let me call Brandy and see what they could. Brandy got some crystals. I'm going to tell her, yeah, I'm going to need to borrow them crystals to put them in my pocket to keep the clap away. <laughs> that ain't going to save you from no damn clap. He'll be like, look, I can't get scuffed because I got these rocks in my pocket. Shit. You're going to wake up next day, you got that. Clapped up. You're going to piss gasoline the next Ooh, day. Oh, shit. Flames. Flames like hot Cheetos. Goddamn fight, flamethrower coming out there for <sighs> Nigga gonna set the house on fire. Wow. 
Listen. I just, y'all, stop Googling dumbass shit. <laughs> if you think you got the clap, go to the doctor. Don't they got free clinics and shit? Yeah, yeah. That shit was crazy. Them niggas say, how can I get rid of the goddamn... <laughs> mm. <laughs> Them boys don't try no at-home remedies because they don't work. You can't get rid of everything. Yeah. Lord Jesus, house in Virginia. Oh, you damn sure ain't getting rid of that. Oh, wow. I mean, hey. We wouldn't, I mean, Nipsey was about to give us some insight on that AIDS and shit, but, well, who's sending me googly eyes and shit? Probably the nigga with the clap. Oh, no, I don't fuck with nobody with no goddamn clap. <laughs> only thing clapping right here, baby, is ass. <laughs> That's the only thing clapping on my thighs when I'm fucking mm. doing some shit. Oh, no. That don't is fucking fucking hilarious. Don't don't do me, nigga. Now. Thank God my phone dries. What what? Dries <laughs> desert pussy. <laughs> so I ain't gotta worry about that. You got a dry dick dining. Straight up. Dry dick dining, baby. You childish. Forever. <laughs> Another one. Shut the hell up, cause that's a lie. <laughs> nah, I am. I'm chilling. Go ahead. You keep lying. God gonna choke you on that with that damn water. Shit. Ain't gonna be nothing new to me. Childish. You over there smoking that rock. Smoking that. Don't be blowing that shit in my fucking mic, nigga. Nigga, fuck first of all, I don't smoke no goddamn fuck. rocks. Blowing that goddamn crack smoke. So the only rocks I'm having is the ones in my damn pocket. <laughs> goddamn crystals. Because you finna go smoke them. I don't shut the fuck. Anyway. <laughs> so you better go buy. You let me hold them rocks. Anyway, I'm not dealing with you. I'm definitely not not dealing with you. Get a PP social media, man. You can get a PP on social media. You already know you can follow me, man. T dot the boss on everything. Instagram, T dot underscore the boss. Snapchat and Twitter, T dot the boss. Snapchat and Twitter, T dot the boss. Go follow your boy. SoundCloud, T dot the boss. <laughs> I was waiting on you to finish. You all know I got you know I got to plug my SoundCloud. Now you know I, I used to be an upcoming rapper. Yeah, he did. I gave that shit up. <laughs> Nigga know his limits. <laughs> right. I know my goddamn limits. Well, so you ain't trying to be 45 out here making no damn songs. <laughs> Hell no. Ain't no check coming by that shit. But, anyway. Uh, <laughs> y'all make sure y'all go on YouTube, search Two Dirty Minds Podcast, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. For notifications of when we drop another episode, which is every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now you can give me your social media. Okay. Anyway, y'all can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Curvy and Confident. That's Curvy with a K and like. Nigga. And Confident with a K. And please go follow us on Instagram at Two Dirty Minds Podcast. Um, follow us on Facebook and all that other stuff he just said. Um, Yeah. I think that's just about it. It is? is that it? Yeah. I don't know. That's everything, man. Oh, merch merch coming soon, man. We'll oh, get yeah. Some. And again, we are in the process of, we about to start our two Dirty Mind Street Team. Well, it's actually already started because I had a street team doing the thing this weekend at the Millennium Tour. They was out there, you know, out there getting it. They didn't pass one to B2K or none of them fuck niggas? I mean, we t- um, I, I passed one to uh, the comedian uh, Gary, I think it's like Gary John- Johnson. They call him G-Thing. Oh, I know who you're yeah, about. Yeah, he hosted the show or whatever. I know you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, chopped Should've it up with him. Should have gave him like five of them. Chopped like, it up with him. Should have gave him 30. Be like, go pass it to the people in the back. Oh, I was oh, I was out there getting it. Had the fanny pack full. Of the t- this motherfucker had on the fanny pack. I, I sure did. did. And I, I had on my, like, I, you know, you know I'm a little thick. You know, I did my throwback. You a little thick. Girl, listen. A little thick. Listen. I'm thick. I'm a little thick. A little. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, I have my two dirty minds jersey dress on. I dressed think of you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I say I don't know a lot, uh, but yeah, I have my little two dirty minds. You know, little jersey dress on, gave the people a little bit of legs. You know, try to show them a little ass, get some subscribers and all that good shit. You <laughs> show know, them a little ass. show them a little ass. You know, <laughs> now nah, but for real though, I'm gonna I'm post i I'm gonna post a picture of the dress on our um on this our Instagram. Nigga said- I try to show them leg, show them a little ass. Like, I mean, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta give the people, so you gotta pull them in, you gotta draw them in. I was like, nigga, what the fuck did you do? Pull the fucking dress up? No, 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 <laughs> show no. Show them a little no. ass. No, I mean, you know, it was just fitting me right, so I ain't had to, you know. 
I said, I'm going to show him a little ass. I ain't show him no skin. I mean, a little bit of little legs. That's it. Oh. Yeah. Like like me when I wear jogging pants. Show him a little dick. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Here you dick. go. Show him the print. I don't show him the whole thing. Anyway. Show him a little soft. <laughs> what you got? Flaccid. <laughs> show it on flaccid. You got to show it to him on flaccid when you got them joggers on. Anyway. But, yeah. we Our little street team was out there doing that thing, you know. <laughs> Chopped it up with a few people, a little networking, you know, doing my thing. I'm trying to get this merch popping, nigga. Oh, we about to get it popping. Wristbands, t-shirts, shit. Nut whatever. Rags. whatever I can get off. That did not <laughs> <laughs> hit the button. Cause that did not sound <laughs> like it's just hit the button. Man. <laughs> Bye y'all. He tripping. All right, all right, R.I.P. to the boy Neil. You 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 you're doing too much. But hit the button. All right, man. We out of here.